throw his qualifier for this final, but just outside two minutes, the national record holder from Australia, Katrina Bissett. In lane, eight, in lane number eight, world champion for Uganda, Alima Nakai of Nakai. Uganda, their national record holder, qualified fourth for this final. 158 at her best. And listen to the roar that the Birmingham crowd are giving Keely Hodgkinson. Olympic silver, world silver, 155.88 at her best. Notoya Ghoul of Jamaica. Bronze, as I mentioned back in 2018, fifth at the recent world championships. Mary Morder of Kenya, dangerous, starts in lane number five. Bronze at the recent world championships, just three tenths behind Keely Hodgkinson in that race. Laura Muir of Scotland. Olympic silver in Tokyo over the 1500 meters, world championship bronze last month, dropping down in distance, which is a 156 runner. A smile from Alex Bell of England, she'll start in lane number three, fifth at the Commonwealth Games in 2018. And completing the lineup in this women's 800 final, Lindsay Butterworth of Canada, two minutes in qualifying. The semi finalist at the World Championships in 2019. So, the women's 800 Commonwealth final, the Olympic 800 meter silver medalist, taking on the Olympic 1500 meter silver medalist, and keep your eye on Ghoul and Mora. So, the gun goes. Expect Natoya Ghoul of Jamaica to go out hard. Mora, though, is setting her stall out early, going down the back straight. Already the Kenyan in lane number five. Here we go, Rob. Down the back straight for the first time. Mora is not afraid to go to the front, and this is fast. Remember, the Kenyan leading started her career with a silver medal over the 400 metres. She had a good look over her shoulder there. She's really laying down the gauntlet here to Keely Hodgkinson, and she has beaten the young Englishwoman this season. She's strong, she's powerful, and the Kenyan will also be full of confidence after smashing her PB to get on the podium. Laura Muir yet to make her move, and on the inside, Ghoul still very much in the mix. It's all teed up for a big, big last lap. Ghoul takes the lead at the bell, 56 and a half seconds. Ghoul of Jamaica, Hodgkinson in second. Laura Muir, check tracking Hodgkinson in third. Mora dropping right back after that first fast 400 metres. Natoya Gore, the Jamaican then, was the fastest qualifier for this 800 metre final. Hodgkinson making a move onto the shoulder of Gore. Laura Muir on the inside line in third. 200 metres to go. Mora coming back. But my goodness me, she's got a huge amount of ground to make up. Gould is holding the inside line, Hodgkinson on her shoulder, can she do it? So often it's been silver, is it going to be gold tonight? Hodgkinson, Gould on the inside, Moore is pushing, Laura Muir still got a bit in the tank, the Scottish star, but Keely Hodgkinson grits her teeth, but back from nowhere, the Kenyan Mary Mora, 157.07, Keely Hodgkinson, will pick up another silver medal at a major championships. But wow, the way the Kenyan Mary Mora ran that race to win the gold medal was absolutely astonishing but outstanding. What a strange, strange way to do it. The dance of delight and the gold goes to Mora. She set the pace at 200 miles clear of everyone else when they came through at the bell she let literally the entire field go in front of her she came storming back round the last bend and by the way the reason the result hasn't come up we've got a furious photo finish between Ghoul and Muir I couldn't call it on the line very very tight Laura Muir might might have picked the Jamaican on their independence day but it was so close you just couldn't tell to the naked eye and it's flashed up it looks like they've given it to Laura Muir silver to the English woman bronze to the Scot that must have come down to thousands of a second but Catherine Keely Hodgkinson 
will view that as a missed opportunity. Mora was all over the place and left herself a mountain to climb, but somehow she did it. 157.87 for Laura Muir, 157.88 for Natoya Gall and Keely Hodgkinson. Well, it was silver at the Olympics last year, silver at the World Championships recently, and silver again here at the Commonwealth Games. Mary Mora.